Color is a crucial element of visual storytelling, whether it is photography or filmmaking. Using colors as a way of setting the tone of a product is what professionals do. Knowing how colors work and what do they mean is something that a professional curator should be good at. So today I'm going to talk about how colors can be captured, stored and represented in our digital world. Like any other phenomenon in the world, colors have an essence. Red, green and blue, known as RGB, are the building blocks of all the visible colors in the world. Combining these colors in millions of ways gives us the possibility of creating all the colors in the world. To set colors more accurately, the best way suggested by experts is to know them by their percentage in the RGB color space. Each camera's capability at creating colors is different. That's why we have created color space. To put it simply, color space defines the range of colors a camera can capture. Besides capturing, we should also take care of the platform on which we want to present our product. TVs, monitors, projectors, and also sometimes the printed version of our photos. The standard RGB is the color space of the digital era. Any sort of color setting used when shooting will be converted to sRGB when you upload it to the internet. In terms of color gamut, sRGB is the most common one. For general use, you will set your camera to sRGB to avoid any color changes when uploading online or viewing on monitors. sRGB is also a good option for video making because it is matched with Rec. 709, which is the color space of the HD TV display technology. Adobe RGB is the wider, more vibrant color space compared to sRGB, but using it should be dependent on the purpose of your production. In comparison with sRGB, Adobe RGB covers about 35% more colors, but because it's RGB came first, it is compatible with more devices. The best case to use Adobe RGB is when you want to print your work, because Adobe RGB is based on CMYK color space which is specific for printers. CMYK color space is created primarily for printers. A printer combines the CMYK colors and then translates it into physical ink. The strategy of color combination in CMYK is called subtractive which means starting from a blank white and then reducing the brightness to create colors. We use subtractive coloring in print because the base, which is a paper, is white. All in all, taking colors into consideration when shooting will lift your work into a higher level and makes it look a lot more professional. Well, that's pretty much it. Please like this video if you learned something new today. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of our future videos. Best of luck and bye.